And this piece is called Poplar's Reflection. And the reason why it's called that is it was inspired by a trip to Yosemite. We discovered there was this beautiful pond and there were reflections of these poplar trees in the pond and I took a photograph. So I turned the photograph upside down and I used that as inspiration for this piece. This painting is done on um, mango paper. It's actually manufactured in Thailand and it, it uses kozo fibers like the great Japanese papers tend to use um, materials from the kozo plant, the mulberry tree, and that's what this is. It's got kozo and mulberry, and then it's got mango leaf inclusions. I, I work on a wide variety of papers. It's an endless fascination by trying different papers because the ink reacts differently to every paper. Um, I start with the line work first, and then I color it afterwards. So the line work reacts very different on every paper, and the coloring reacts very differently on every paper. Some papers I use um, are very thickly textured. I have some that use uh, jute in it. And the, the texture of it really um, affects the line work, how the line work comes off. And frequently I'll find myself putting down a piece of paper and starting to paint, and I have to react in the moment to how the ink is reacting to the paper. When I have an idea for a painting, it usually comes from a tree that I've photographed or I've seen in nature, I want to consider which paper is going to bring off the feeling I have in my head. Sometimes I'll go very textured and sometimes I'll go with something almost translucent. The reason why I like um, these rice papers or Japanese papers is that um, they're not sized. That's the main difference between Asian papers and Western papers. So if you had sizing in the paper, when you put the ink down, it's not going to bleed at all. It's just going to go down straight. And that doesn't seem to work with my style that well. There's a life to the ink drawing, the, the actual line work I do when it reacts to the paper. And it reacts to the paper in a way that it's recording your, your stroke and your pause. But the paper keeps me honest because it will reveal that if I'm tentative or I'm thinking about the stroke when I do it. And, you know, I have a lot of failures, so I, I've, got to, I've got to recognize that and go, you know what, this isn't happening. Throw that one away and start again.